I like to always bring some kind of snack to lessons. Whenever I bring food or snacks, everybody gets excited and we have so much fun. It just kind of breaks the ice and just makes people happy. Your cut looks so good, Storm. Yeah. Look, it looks like you had another one over here too that we didn't even really notice. Because they're both the same level of healed. Actually, this one's worse. Maybe this one's newer. Looks like. Yeah, he definitely tried. See, they're exactly the same. He definitely tried to break free of his blanket. That's what he does. This is our boy with character. This guy's got. He had a blanket on. No, when. Yeah, when he got the cut, he got it from the blanket. Oh my gosh, how do you forget that so easy? What a handsome boy, Storm. He's like, yes I am, and don't you forget it. When you come around next time, look at his chest. Remember he had that big cut from his blanket? He's got identical marks on both sides. So for sure it was the blanket. So Gabby thinks that he got that cut when he had no blanket on, but he, he did have the blanket on. She just forgets, I don't know what, why. Oh, you might not be able to see. My thighs are hurting now. Wow, you rode all day yesterday. Watch no, the baby. My shoes are slippery, so see? I actually have to hold on. Debbie forgot her vest. Yeah. It's almost stretching <sighs> to the ground. I like it. And still trotting. I know. <laughs> it's like he learned how to use his back muscles. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All that running in the field paid off. Yeah, the chiropractor said that he's in the best shape she's ever seen him. I agree. And I'm like, yeah, it's not us. It's the running in the field. <laughs> it's the time off, too. Uh, he, he, I don't know. She says it. She's been like saying mentally it. mentally time off. Because he hasn't been pushing for showing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. True. So, anyway, I'm... Has that gorgeous. Look up, though. Stop looking at the ground. You can see him with your peripheral vision. You don't need to look down. Remember the bowling ball on the plates? If you roll that bowling ball forward, that beautiful trot that you have where he's light, you lose it because all of your weight goes on his forehand and causes him to ride on the forehand. He already likes to do that. So any excuse to get back into that? Eyes. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Sophie's not gonna let you forget that she's going. Pull your chin back, grow tall. There. Let him reach. Let him feel feel him push into the bit. Don't look, feel. A little bit of leg. Calf, calf, calf. Shoulders back. Chin back. Yes. There you go. And he stretches his trot out. Oh. You don't like that leg. You don't like that leg. Because she's got spurs on. Yes, but she's doing better at not using them all the time. Well, that's good. There, keep looking up. Keep looking up and feel. Yeah, it's funny. As soon as she gets Hold it exactly right, yeah. he, dro he drops his head. Imagine someone's pulling your belt buckle up over his ears. Look straight up. Uh-oh. Finn's looking. He's like, wow, that thing makes noise. All right, take a breather. Working trot. Fiona just screamed out working trot and Storm just took off working trot. I didn't even ask him to trot. No, I, he, so Storm's been riding with Fiona for four years now, uh, three years now. Yeah, he knows me. And he knows her, what all her words mean. Thumbs on top, Gabby, that'll keep your elbows tucked in, remember? So we had a big discussion and a big thing about Brandon versus Fiona at the last lesson. I said in the lesson, Brandon? yeah, and everybody. I said, so I said, who's going to break it to Fiona? Then they voted her wrong. <laughs> what? So basically the issue was you say to ride to the jump. If you get to the jump, you know, ride to the, to the pole. If you get to the pole it, properly, it will mean that you're set up for. If you have a grid line set with a pole at the front, and you get to the pole, the grid line will ride you to the jump. As long as you get to the first pole, it's no different than when you ride a line. If you get to the first jump, and you stay the same, you should be able to get to the second jump no problem. It should set you up for success. Okay, so. If there's a single jump, then you have to treat that jump like you treated the first pole. And oh. the jump, not the pole. 
So we did it wrong. Well, anyway, so we tried riding to the pole and riding to the jump. <laughs> if you have a grid line set up with a pole in the beginning, you need to always get your distance to the first pole because if you get your distance to the first pole, then the grid line will ride perfectly. If you get a crappy distance to the first pole, the grid line rides like crap. It's really hard to adjust to get yourself set up for the fence when there's multiple poles. So what we mi missed was if it's only one jump, you ride to the jump. Correct. So or that's you, only if- you're riding a course, you're still riding to the jump because there's no pole. You're not riding the pole on the ground, you're riding to the jump. We may have misrepresented that to Brandon. <laughs> anyway, we had a little competition. All right, ladies, let's collect the trot, please. Keep your hands quiet, thumbs on top, elbows in. I'll get Velcro if you want. We can Velcro her. <laughs> Do you have a second whip in the barn? Uh, I, I think so. Do you? I don't know. Kaylee does. Do you know where Kaylee's is? Uh, I know. Can you go look in your locker? Yeah, see, that's why I didn't talk because I knew you were going to make me go. It's a matter of just keeping the elbow from chicken winging. You keep it in. You can still do this and hold them in your armpit. Then I'll lose my title as Sergeant Chicken Wing. <laughs> well, yes. It's time to become something else. Sergeant, well, well, Sergeant Big Boobs. All right. Do you also know that you put those on top? Uh huh. Kaylee. Uh huh. You know who also has been yelled at a lot for that? Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> Just because your friend does it doesn't mean you should. If she jumped off a bridge, would you? Only to save her. No, Gabby wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered that yesterday. <laughs> Not if there's water and Rising she had new boots. Rising trot, rain. Keep those thumbs up. <laughs> she lost one. <laughs> <laughs> She's having the worst luck. But Storm likes it. Yeah. So I was like, finally, why didn't you give her those wings before? No, that means they're gonna fly over the jump without my horse. Help! I don't need his help. Do you guys remember the video we did on Gabby's channel where we put $50 bills underneath her thighs and we told her she could keep them if she didn't drop them? That was a fun time. Uh oh. I can hear I can hear all the people screaming. Yes! Run. So, this is going to prevent Gabby from changing her ring like 1700 million times. That she's always done her Which whole life. Me, not. me too. This is going to prevent Sophie from steering with one hand and not two. When you ride, you ride with both hands. Equal pressure in both reins. If you pull on one rein, your horse's hips go to the opposite direction. You need your horse to stay underneath you. I shared a really cool image on Facebook of a person pushing a wheelbarrow. If you push a wheelbarrow with one tire, not two, and it has a rock in it, and the rock moves to the side, do you think you're gonna be able to push that wheelbarrow straight? No. It's gonna pull you, isn't it? It's gonna make you lean to one side. It's gonna make you have to compensate and really pick up the one side of the wheelbarrow. So, <laughs> I don't know. Pardon? <laughs> How about we just take the rocks out of the wheelbarrow? Put the rock in the middle of the wheelbarrow, and then it's easier to balance load. So, you're the rock, your horse is the wheelbarrow. You need to stay as a balanced load on their back. You need to be in the middle. If you lean off to one side, so you pull with one rein, your body tilts, drops it horse, and then they have to carry that uneven load and they can't stay balanced. Chin up. What? Chin up. So you wanna think, I need to land squarely in my saddle each time I sit. I need to use both reins equally around every corner, not just one or the other. Change rein, Gabby. Perfect. All right, ladies, take a breather. 
<laughs> pick up your reins, pick up your whip. You go right ahead, honey. Switch. Yeah, and you can walk with your reins, mister. Keep your spur off, keep your leg on. Shoulders up, set up the ball and ride them into the reins. You need to do a circle and grab your sister's butt. Get off your sister's butt. Hear that, Sophie? Get off your sister's butt. <laughs> he just popped his head out of a freaking fly that was like far away. <laughs> <laughs> it like passed him. He does not have very much um, tolerance for very many things. I've watched him in the field before. Oh no, when, he's a grumpy little old man. Yeah, well he <laughs> seems happy though. Like he seems way no, happier I mean, now. He's a grumpy old man. Yeah, well oh. one day he was out in the field and uh, like the rain barely just started and literally he got a drop on him yeah. and he ran as fast you as he Dennis could. The menace? Yeah. There's Dennis the Menace and there's the old man. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> and then the, the old, old guy. The old guy that he bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Gabby, I want you to try something for me. Keep in your legs, you know, and I want you to set your grip on his neck. Yeah. I want you to slide it towards his ears and back down. Yeah, bending your elbow as you go. So you have to bend your body like you're two pointing, and then come back down. When you slide it up, look at me. Like you're two pointing, slide the whip up his neck, and then bring it back. And slide it up his neck and bring it back. Keeping the elbow in and the thumb up. Yeah? You're working on is keeping your chicken wings in as you two point. Yes, that's it. Very nice. Allow your hip to soften, your little duck tail to stick out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. He's putting his head down. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I love a massage in the, in the, in the ring. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it, buddy? Good. Kind of like, what the heck are you doing to me? Very nice, take a walk. This is Over it. Over this one, cross the arena. Over this one, cross the arena. Let's okay. go. Leg yielding over. Good. He's like, oh my God. He's like, <laughs> leg yielding. Let me go. Storm's looking right at me like, all right, target. That's thin. After this jump, you're gonna go around and jump the double with the cavaletti, please. One, two, three. That's gorgeous. Pushing me. Good, look. Two hands to turn. Little two point, not a big one. Good, knee change. Go 
Don't you know that you're beautiful?